Hey guys, Danica here, um, Vegan Picker. Um, someone asked in one of the Facebook groups about fixing a photo, the color. They couldn't get the color right. The white was grayish and uh, it was supposed to be like a vibrant, um, like neon green or whatever. Um, and she said I could use her, uh, her picture to show you guys how I fixed it for her. Um, it was Janine from 904 Powder Works with an X dot com. Um, it's actually pretty cool. They're like doing powder coating on um, on stuff. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so I thought that I would show you guys how I did it. Um, it's a Yeti tumbler. Now, see how it says black scaled. Um, I don't know how she ended up with that right there. Um, but I am converting to, uh, RGB. So this is, uh, this is the picture. And see how you've got like the bright white background and see how this is, almost looks dirty. And then this is... Um, more like a Kelly green than the, uh, than the bright neon green that it was supposed to be. So with this, since the background is bright white, doing white balance is not going to get you anything. Um, if you go in color and down here at auto, this is where most people, where you can take care of most of your little problems is in the auto stuff. You don't need to mess, you know. Now, equalize is just going to turn it black. Well, not totally black, but see. Um, so you don't want that. Um, to be honest, very rarely does equalize get me anywhere near what I'm wanting to do. White balance, so it's not going to change anything because of this bright white background. Um... So what I did was I figured it was just more of a lighting issue than anything. Um, you've got like these highlights here. And to me, because it's so shiny and sparkly, that stuff is a pain in the neck to try to get right. You guys know that. But um, what I did was I just messed with the brightness and the contrast. Um, I don't even remember the numbers that I used, to be honest. Um, that probably would have been handy information to keep. But until I got, what I'm going for is I'm looking mainly at the white. And you, brightness and contrast, like contrast, you know, Think about, I mean, you guys know what contrast means, but they go hand in hand. That's why they're always together in these things. Um, if you just up to the brightness, you're not going to keep the true color. Um, and these should, these will never, if you have to mess with these, these are never going to be like 50 and 50 on the levels because that's going to take you right back to the same contrast that you had before. Um, so you just have to mess around. And I didn't know what color this was really supposed to be. That's why I went off of the Yeti, because this is supposed to be white. So I just went off of that um, to try to get it. Okay, do you see what that did? Do you see the difference between brightness? Brightness... Um, I guess for lack of a better term, brightness is going to wash out the color and contrast gives you, ugh, I don't know how to say it. It's not going to wash out your colors, but brightness, that's what brightness does. Brightness basically adds a kind of like a white filter almost, you know, over top of stuff. Um, and that's it. Essentially, the 
the lighting wasn't good for this. And I'm assuming it was trying to, uh, I would think that that would be because, you know, you're trying to minimize the reflection in the picture. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's it. You just, you have to, you ha sometimes, like I, I told you guys in the first video, play with the program. Go in and play with it. You know, there are so many things that you can do. It's unreal. And it's a completely free, open source program. That's what kills me. You know, people pay for Photoshop and, you know, you pay 20 bucks a month or, you know, you buy whatever you're buying. And I know that GIMP has a learning curve. I understand that. But if money is tight, if money is your issue, you need to learn to use the free stuff until money is not an issue. And then if you want to change, change. But if money is an issue right now, go with the free stuff. If you don't know how to do it, find some YouTube videos, find some blog posts, uh, pay somebody. You know, if you're having that hard of a time, hire someone to, to go in and hang out with you for an hour and walk you through everything. Um, I've had people asking me if I, if I would do that. And as time allows, yes, I would do that. But it would completely be on an as time allows kind of thing. Um, the same thing with pictures. I've had people ask me if I could fix their, their pictures. Um, somebody asked me, what was it they were? I, I can't remember what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't pictures. It, it doesn't matter. Anyways, yes, I do. Um, yes, I do charge for it. But the big thing is it's as I have time for it. You guys know I have, you know, I've got my hustle that I try to do. I have, but first and foremost, I have my kids. I homeschool my kids. So it would very greatly depend upon how much free time I have you know, and it would have to probably, it would have to be scheduled. I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, you guys know how to find me on Facebook or message me here or whatever. Um, but I, anyways, I hope that this helped. Um, dark pictures or, you know, pictures where the colors aren't just right. We see that all the time. And, you know, the first thing I tell people to do, try using the auto stuff you know, click it. If it doesn't work, hit edit undo. Go to the next one. Doesn't work, edit undo. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. There's nothing that can't be undone. Okay, you're not going to ruin anything. If nothing else, go back to your original picture that you took and start from there. No big deal. But you've got to play with the program. You've got to get comfortable with the program and you've got to get over the fear of ruining something or messing up. Um, no, I'm not saying, you know, please don't think that I'm saying that, you know, Janine, that was what she was talking about or whatever. Um, it's not. Uh, but there's so many people, you know, that are, I'm afraid of this or I'm afraid of that. I don't want you to be afraid. This is, it's easy once you get it. It's, it can be very time consuming. Um, but it's not hard. Once you learn it, but you got to put in the time, you know, it all comes down to time in the end, to be honest. Um, but anyways, so that was my, um, my little quickie lesson on brightness and contrast to, uh, kind of fix up a, a photo. Um, and go check out, go check out their site because it is pretty dang cool. They've got a hot pink one that not going to lie, kind of loving it. Um, yeah. Uh, that's it for me today. Um, thanks for watching. As always, uh, you know, leave any questions you have down below. Um, and let you, let me know how you guys are doing with this. Let me know if these are helping. Um, let me know if there's something that you need help with. You know, uh, if it's, if it's something I can throw a quick video together like this, then you know that I'll do it. Um, anyways, have an awesome day. I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.